Hello everyone, it's your boy B3, back with another kicking movie reaction review. Got some more fun horror for you guys today. And a classic film at that, Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Yes, uh, Alfred Hitchcock said it could be the most terrifying motion picture he ever made. That might be true, or at least close to true. Um, it's starring Rod Taylor, Jessica Tandy, and Suzanne... Uh, and it's introducing Tepi Hedren. Uh, pretty much anyone who knows Tepi Hedren's name knows it because of this film. It, it really put her on the map. Uh, and it's based on Daphine du Maurier's classic suspense story. Screenplay by Evan Hunter and directed, of course, by Alfred Hitchcock. It's from 1963. Um, it's about two hours long. PG-13, which is a good rating for it. Uh, I'm going to give you a quick read-up of the film. Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds is an unforgettable masterpiece that is considered one of the most terrifying films from the master of suspense. When beautiful blonde <coughs> excuse me, Melanie Daniels, played by Tippi Hedren, travels to Bodega Bay in pursuit of eligible bachelor Mitch Brenner, Rod Taylor, she is inexplicably attacked by a seagull. Suddenly, thousands of birds begin to flock into town, preying on school children and residents in a terrifying series of attacks. Mitch and Melanie must fight for their lives against a deadly force that cannot be explained or stopped in this film that makes you want to hold on to something and watch, according to Leonard Maltin's classic movie guide. And it is an extremely good film. You'll be on the edge of your seat. It's incredibly suspenseful. Um... It takes a long time to actually get to the birds attacking, but you don't mind because the drama is so good, you know? Uh, and then there are, like, a couple things that happen during... Like, the beginning of the film is basically just a, you know, kind of romantic-y drama. But then, like, a seagull attacks her out of nowhere, and then a bird smashes uh, into someone's door. And there's, like, this great scene... Uh, there, there are lots of great bird attacks, you know, like seagulls attack a party, uh, ravens attacking the school is my first, my personal favorite bird attack. I really like the build up to it where like, uh, ravens keep landing on like the playground equipment and then she turns around and she sees like a ton of ravens. That's my favorite scene in the film. Uh, there's also a great scene where like a bunch of birds shoot down the chimney into the living room and attack, uh, which was very cool and... It's 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 got some great attacks and it's all like real birds and puppets and stuff. So it's it's, it's all practical. I mean, it's 1963. It had to be practical. Uh, thank goodness, because using real birds, you know, made it feel like, you know, a real attack, which was great. Uh, <laughs> and the birds were like strategizing, like they were coming in waves and stuff, and. I think the scariest part of the film is that there is no explanation for why the birds suddenly became aggressive and all teamed up against the humans. There is zero explanation. And I think that makes it much scarier, uh, to be completely honest. Horror movies, uh, leaving things unanswered can lead to those films being much scarier. Uh, especially found footage. But this is not found footage, it's traditionally shot. Uh, but shot incredibly well. It's got a bunch of great shots that uh, Hitchcock built suspense very, very well. He might have been a weird, creepy, uh, obsessive guy, but the dude knew how to make a movie. He did, you know. He loved torturing blonde women, but... <laughs> but damn, he made some great films. He, he really did. Uh... Which, yeah, you can look up some of the behind-the-scenes stuff about, like, him torturing his actresses and stuff, because he loved killing off blonde women and stuff in his movies and torturing them. Um, I am going to talk about the end of the film, so this is a spoiler. It, the film kind of ends with them driving off to get out of town uh, after she's heavily injured in um, another great attack scene. And they just kind of... It's very suspenseful because the birds are like on every square inch of the property and they're trying to get an injured uh, Tepi Hedren into the car uh, to drive her and the whole family away to San Francisco. Uh, even though the radio attacks say that the birds are starting to spread a, 
the radio said that the birds were starting to spread a little outside of that city, but it was mostly contained to that city, or that town, I guess. So, um, they could go to San Francisco and be relatively safe, uh, which is where he lives normally and where she lives normally. Because uh, she's the daughter of, like, a big newspaper guy that lives there, and he's a lawyer who lives there, but he comes to stay with his mother and sister on the weekends, and that's why they were there. And she came to give them some pet birds, uh, and she was also flirty a little bit. Uh, angry flirting, it was weird. <laughs> Very entertaining film, though. Wow. Just such, it's such a fantastic film. Um... But yeah, there is uh, a quote-unquote alternate ending. It wasn't shot, but it was kind of storyboarded and scripted. And I have read the script and seen the storyboards for that. Um, so it's it's more of an extended ending, actually. Like, it shows them driving through town and finally getting out of town in the extended ending. Which I think would have been better. I don't know why it wasn't shot. I don't know if it was a financial thing. Uh, but the scene also seemed really complicated because it involved a lot of real birds and um, etc. Like in the like the storyboards show like a bunch of dead bodies laying around the town, the mostly evacuated town, and then like birds like pecking at the dead bodies and just sitting everywhere. And then when they speed up their car, like every bird in town attacks them at once. So there's like there's this speeding car with lots of birds. Um, chasing it and attacking it, and I don't know if... I think there might have been some practical issues with that. Like, I can definitely see some practical issues with that. So I don't know why they didn't do it, but I kind of completely understand from any viewpoint why they wouldn't have done it, because it also seemed like a very expensive scene and a very hard-to-do scene, because, once again, they're using real birds in this film, which really ups the effect. Uh, one reason... Uh, I decided to review this film is just because it's a classic horror film, and I've been doing lots of horror films. Um, and I also have a copy of it, so I needed to review it anyways. But uh, another reason I'm reviewing it is because I want to review Birdemic very soon. Uh, I think Big Boy Chungus and I are actually going to watch it together. Uh, we want to check out Birdemic because it looks just terrible, just awful. But I didn't feel like it was fair to watch to do Birdemic without doing the birds, you know? I don't know how long it'll be until I do Birdemic, but definitely wanted to do the birds. It's a classic, classic horror film. You should definitely watch Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. Um, it was a little longer than I expected. It was about two hours, but uh, it doesn't feel like it's two hours because you're just so entertained the whole time, you know? It didn't feel like two hours at all. Uh... I usually prefer my films to be around an hour 30, but uh, two is fine, and, uh, you know, it didn't even feel long. It really didn't. So, uh, that's it for Alfred Hitchcock's The Birds. 100% uh, recommend. Definitely check it out. It's a classic for a reason. Thank you all very much for your support. Remember to rate, comment, and subscribe. Check out all the cool links in the description below, Facebook, Twitter, etc. Got a lot of films coming up. We got to do the last two films in the Raiga trilogy. We got to do um, uh, The Black Gloves, the sequel to Lord of Tears. And I also have um, some more like low budget -y horror films that I want to do as well. And once again, Birdemic is on the way. So that is it. Thank you all once again for your support, and I'll see you all next time.